Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're gonna be installing some storm guard up onto the roof. So we're finally gonna to get to take down all the old metal and we're doing a bunch of prep so that we'll be able to put on our brand new metal roof. And we actually already started uh, last week, right before we had a big storm, we went ahead and installed some on our cedar roof. So check it out. So we have some odd and end tasks that we're gonna be finishing up. Starting out with our cedar roof that we did, um, there's some overhang on either side, so we're gonna trim that off with our flush cut bit. And we also have a severe storm rolling in right now, so we were gonna try to put the storm guard up before it comes in, but we're not really sure how that's gonna work out with timing. So let's just start off with the router and we'll see how it goes. So this stuff we're putting out is called Storm Guard. It's a ice and water barrier and it's the same stuff that we put over there. And it's pretty easy to install. Cross. have the plastic flying in the tree part two. All right, so we were able to get our storm guard on just in time. We ended up running out right at the end, so we had to put in a little black plastic piece just so that it didn't get wet in the storm. It's actually starting to rain again, but we're gonna go get some new storm guard and go ahead and do the rest of the roof with the storm guard, take down the old metal roof. And after we have the storm guard and the rock wool and all that done, we'll finally be ready to put on a metal roof. And then we won't have to ever worry about having a leak again. We've been kind of fighting this whole plastic piece up here to keep water from coming in. So it's gonna be nice to finally have this all sealed off for good. So right after we finished installing the storm guard up on the cedar roof, we had some big storms come through. We had 50 mile an hour winds. You can see in the background here, our Harbor Freight tent is still barely standing. And if you saw a couple of videos ago, we installed the brand new Vivor tent. We didn't really know how it was gonna hold up in the storm. So let's go check it out and see how it did. <laughs> this thing got destroyed. Uh, <laughs> it is just completely twisted up. The pipe's bent. The good news is it didn't leak. The tarp still seems to be in pretty good condition, but man, it got all twisted up and bent. Um, we weren't here to see it, so we don't really know exactly how it happened. Uh, we really wanted to reinforce this a little bit so that something like this wouldn't happen. And we literally ratchet strapped this whole thing to the tractor. And I think if we wouldn't have done this, this thing wouldn't even be here anymore. It'd be off in a tree or something. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so crazy. Yeah, check out the hot tub. We gotta go for a little swim in there. <laughs> and so one of the things we were thinking about while we're assembling this is, um, you know, these, this tarp attaches with these little bungee strap pieces, but it's multiple pieces, whereas the Harbor Freight one was one big piece that covered this seam. And so we think there's a chance that wind could have come in through all these holes and basically turned it into a giant parachute or something. I mean, we were planning on tying this down, but we're really not sure if that would have helped with that being the case. So if you're considering getting one of these, you might want to think about that. I really wanted this to work out because the size of it was great. I love the color of it. Yeah, I mean, clearly it, it didn't last that long, maybe like one week, so. <laughs> Vivor's never gonna send us anything again. 
Well, it is probably the hottest day of the year so far, so we picked a great day to be feeling this hot metal roof. This is the original galvanized metal roof that came with the shed. So this was put on in about 2003. And you can see it has this uh, kind of rusty patina now. It's kind of towards the end of its life because the zinc that's in it has pretty much gotten used up. And so now it's starting to get all rusted like this. We actually kind of like this because uh, we think it has that nice patina. We want to take off this metal and reuse it for some decorations inside the house. So we are thinking about putting this on the ceiling in the kitchen or maybe some other places. We're going to be putting on the new roof and it'll be painted and also a lot thicker than this. So we're going to start taking off this plastic and taking off the metal roof and we'll be ready to put on our storm guard. All right, so we finished most of this side and you can see the OSB under here still looks great. It pretty much looks brand new. And one thing to point out is this didn't have any kind of underlayment at all. Originally they had put tar paper down and shingles, but uh, immediately they switched it out to a metal roof. It was just a mistake. Yeah, this hasn't leaked, doesn't have you know, any water damage, still in great condition. So um, when we redo it, we'll have all the storm guard and a fresh metal roof. So there will be a very small chance of anything happening with that for a very long time. But now we're moving on to this chimney. Um, we gotta go ahead and take this down. We were kind of thinking about when we put this on that day, we hadn't built the addition yet and it was just such a sketchy thing getting this installed. So it was just a funny thing to reflect on. We also took off our solar panels and we're definitely gonna be re reusing some of those in the future. But we're just gonna start unscrewing all this and get this taken off. I got some build up on it. It's like opening a giant pickle jar. So we got all the metal off, all looks great. And took off a couple small patches of storm guard that we did over here. And that stuff was just really stuck on there. Uh, kind of made us feel good about how well, the, well this stuff works. It was nice and thick. And so now we're gonna go ahead and do our first layer on this side. Once we finish this, we'll be able to start on the other side. So let's get started. It's got the new texture so you don't slip. I have it like three inches off the edge. Yeah, that's probably good. You could do it just like this and have it overlap just perfectly like this, or we can go up some. Turns out it's a little more challenging putting it up on a steeper slope. They changed the storm guard a little bit, so it's different, a little bit different than what we were using before. So we're kind of getting used to that too.
we got the metal off on the other side and we are pretty committed because it's sunset and it's gonna rain tonight. So we kind of have no option but to finish it. <laughs> This stuff stinks really bad. All right, so obviously it got pretty dark on us right when we we're finishing up, but we got it done. Hopefully it'll work out for tonight because we are gonna get some rain, but I'll put some video right here. This is what it looks like tomorrow in the daylight. Um, I hope it looks good because I haven't seen it yet. Oh, also we have some other really big news that I haven't got a chance to tell you about yet. So last week we had the utility company come out and they hooked up the meter to our box and we have power now. So. Um, we have lights on, all of our floodlights are on, every single outlet works, all of our light switches work, so that's a big step, and yeah, things are starting to move right along with all this. We're getting all the major things done, we're about to have our roof done, and electrical will be done, and the last big thing will be getting our septic tank done. After that, it's pretty much finishing stuff, so um, just a good feeling. But I wanna give a big thank you to everyone that has liked the video and subscribed. And also a big thank you to everyone that backs us over on Patreon. Really appreciate your support and we'll see you guys next time.